Hi folks, let's take a look at the basics of this wonderful online gear generation tool. Um, links are in the comments along with uh, some credit to the designer who is not me. Now when you jump into GearGenerator.com, you will probably see an arrangement of existing gears. Let's start by removing those. So we're going to click on the remove button and you will receive a message indicating that you have some child gears as well that are reliant on the parent gears. They'll be removed, that's okay, click okay. All right, so now we've cleaned house, we have one gear working, a couple of basics. Notice that you can start and stop the animation. You can add a new gear. You can add another new gear. There it is down below. You can remove gears as needed as well. So I'm going to select this bottom most gear and hit remove. The clear button clears me back to the very beginning. There's our gear again. Now, as far as gear adjustments, for the purpose of our project in Principles of Tech, we are going to make multiple gears. We are going to modify only one parameter of gear properties, and that is the number of teeth. And I'd like you to keep that to under 24. That keeps the size of the final gear when we laser cut it to a reasonable size that we can work with. So gear teeth, you can modify. Let's add a second gear in here. And we can also modify those teeth as well, larger, smaller. The key thing here is to keep all of the other settings the same, and then you will have good meshing and agreement between the two gears. So let's add one more in here. All right, so we've got three gears going. Once you have set up the three desired gears, here's how we're going to set them up so that we can work with them in Inkscape and prepare them for laser cutting. So I'll select the first most gear, the top one, the large one, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit to download SVG. And I will download my first gear. Leave the file name as it is now because that has valuable settings information. So we'll save that, go to the next gear, download SVG, save, next gear, download SVG, and save. As always, pay attention to where you're saving these. You will need to open these up in Inkscape, and that will be our next step. Go for part two, linked below, and thanks for watching.